Today, the U.S. is shutting down the southern border. President Joe Biden just announced the new plans aimed at addressing the immigration crisis. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Hannah Brandt joins us live now to break down this new policy. Hannah? Sophie, President Biden says the southern border is overwhelmed. So now he's using executive action to turn migrants away. Doing nothing is not an option. We have to act. President Biden is taking on immigration with a new policy. Tuesday, he announced officials will shut down the border when the average number of daily crossings hits 2,500. And it won't open back up until that slows to an average of 1,500 crossings per day or less. This action will help us gain control of our border, restore order into the process. With crossings already above the threshold, the border should shut down immediately. Only migrants who express credible fear of returning to their home countries will get to see an asylum officer. Other migrants will be deported. And the new standards for threats in someone's country of origin are now stricter than before. To protect America as a land that welcomes immigrants, we must first secure the border and secure it now. Republican leaders criticized the move, with Speaker Mike Johnson saying it's too little, too late. Now, suddenly, oh, now he wants to issue some weak executive order. And Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell suggests this is just an empty election year stunt. This is like turning a garden hose on a fire of alarm fire. But Democratic Senate Leader Chuck Schumer defended the policy, saying the president took this step because Republicans killed a bipartisan border bill meant to address immigration issues. The president is left with little choice but to act. On his own. Though some Democrats have expressed worries. I'm concerned that this is just, you know, the enforcement only side of the strategy. Those skeptical Democrats say more needs to be done to make legal migration easier. But they say they'd rather have that happen through legislation than executive action. Live in Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.